A disturbing discovery along the ocean floor off Oregon's coast. Crabs and other marine life were suffocating from a lack of oxygen. These areas of low oxygen in the ocean are known as dead zones. Environmental reporter Keely Chalmers talked to the scientists leading the research on this. She's live tonight at Oregon State University in Keeley. He says it was one of the worst dead zones he's seen. Yeah, Tracy, probably the worst he's seen in about the last 10 years, but not quite as bad as the dead zone discovered off Oregon's coast back in 2006. Still, the discovery this summer has researchers here wanting more answers. It was one in a series of strange events that happened this summer off Oregon's coast. Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife biologists tracking crab populations captured this video. It showed something unexpected happening to the crabs. When the oxygen levels are high, crabs are happy, and then the oxygen started to decline, and then the crabs started to slow down and not move so much. And over time, they, they died, they suffocated on the seafloor. Marine ecologist Dr. Francis Chan knew right away this was the work of a dead zone. The Oregon State University researcher has been tracking dead zones off the Oregon coast for more than a decade. Uh, a dead zone is an area in the ocean that basically has too low oxygen values. Chan began to notice other bizarre things happening in the waters off our coast this summer. Things like people catching fish in places they weren't expecting. And the sudden appearance of these pickle-like looking sea creatures called pyrosomes. So he and his colleagues conducted some more tests and discovered more than just a small dead zone. It's one of the, the worst ones that we've seen. The worst happened back in 2006. These are dead dungeness crabs that are- Thousands of crabs and other marine life littered the ocean floor that summer. This video shows the undersea carnage. As for what's causing these dead zones, Chan believes it comes down to a climate that is changing. Because we know that as the ocean warms, it actually holds less oxygen in it and also makes a sort of a, a thicker blanket that keeps the deeper ocean from taking a breath. Chan says the ocean now is much different than it was 50 years ago, and he expects it will continue to change. We have such an amazing ocean out there. It, it's definitely worth knowing, it's worth exploring, and it's, it's worth protecting. Now back here live, the good news, Chan says the fall storms are actually helping to stir up the ocean and get rid of those dead zones. But he says next spring they will likely return, which is why he and his colleagues will also return to the waters off the Oregon coast to track them. Back to you.